What's going on Guardians, it's Tizzle here, and I want to welcome you to Subclass School, the series where I teach you everything you need to know about every subclass in Destiny. So a couple disclaimers to start, these videos take a ton of time and effort to produce, so leaving a like on the video would mean a lot to me. Let's shoot for 10,000 likes on this one. Next, I do all my own testing, but I also use the Destiny Data Compendium to cross-reference my findings or for certain values like damage resistance. It's an extremely great resource and I leave a link to it in the description of every single one of my videos. So shout out to the wonderful people who work on that spreadsheet. Also, when doing my testing, I don't use any aspect, fragment, or mod that could interfere with the testing. So you are seeing everything at its base level so that you know exactly how it works at a baseline. Next, a big thank you to my friends and clanmates who helped me test the things that require two or more people. It means a lot. And lastly, I am trying to reach 50,000 subscribers before the final shape, so do me a solid and hit subscribe. I know it seems like a lofty goal, but nearly 90% of my viewers are not subscribed. Now, I'm not too bad at math, so if we can bring that closer to even 50%, then I know we can reach 50k in no time. I have a ton of great content planned, so I know you won't regret it. Anyways, that's it, let's get into the video. So in today's video, we'll be covering the arc verbs. There are only four verbs for arc, the least of any subclass. We have amplified, blind, jolt, and ionic traces. So let's just go in alphabetical order and start with amplified. The in-game description reads, your movement speed and weapon handling are greatly increased. After sprinting for a short time, your movement speed is further increased. Rapidly defeating targets with arc damage makes you amplified. So there are a ton of benefits to being amplified. It grants you plus 50 mobility, 33% increased slide distance, plus 40 handling, and a 0.95x handling duration for 15 seconds. And it gives you the speed booster sprint effect which allows you to sprint more quickly. Speed booster grants maximum movement speed, 50% increased slide distance, 25% increased jump height, and 15% damage resistance against combatants after sprinting for 2.5 seconds. And you can even keep speed booster up after you are no longer amplified which is pretty cool. And there is a 2 second window before it expires after not sprinting. This was done to be more forgiving and it's super nice, because it used to deactivate if you were grabbing heavy ammo in PvP for instance, but now you can stop very briefly, grab heavy ammo, and then continue sprinting. It's very handy. Being amplified also enhances some abilities and even certain exotic weapons and armor. There are a ton of ways to get amplified, so this verb is basically always up if you are on an arc subclass. Next is blind. This states combatants are disoriented and cannot fire their weapons. Opposing guardian's HUD is removed and their vision is obscured. When blinded, unstoppable champions are stunned. So blind is an extremely powerful verb that I think is super slept on. I use the Queenbreaker's bow which can blind enemies on hit to solo flawless the Lake of Shadows GM and it made dealing with the Tormentor an absolute breeze. The compendium states that combatants are disoriented rendering them unable to attack or cast an ability for a certain amount of time. Well, I tested this on a myriad of combatants, and I can tell you that they are blinded for a whopping 10 seconds. This may not sound like a long time, but it is extremely long in game. As I said, I used this on the Tormentor and it made it a piece of cake, and you can refresh blind over and over. So you can wait until 9 seconds and then just blind again, and basically just keep a target perma blinded. Blind also stuns unstoppable champions which is super nice, but it is not blind champions are bosses. They will keep shooting at you even if they're blinded, which is probably good. Imagine a boss like Rolk or Crota just being completely useless because someone is running something that can blind them. In PvP, it only lasts for 3 seconds according to the compendium, but in my testing and experience, it only lasts like 2 seconds. Your screen just goes white briefly and you lose your HUD. Next up is Ionic Traces. These are the elemental pickups for arc and probably the strongest elemental pickup in the game. They state a bolt of pure arc energy that travels along the ground, seeking towards its creator. When picked up, ionic traces grant ability energy, and the compendium gives us some values for this. It states that traces grant us 12.5% grenade and melee energy and 15% class ability energy. These are very high values given how easy it is to create ionic traces. Fire sprites grant 12.5% to our grenade energy only, and they have a 5 second cooldown before they can be made again, where ionic traces can be made over and over again and grant ability energy to all of your abilities besides your super. One important thing to note is you only make ionic traces for yourself and not for teammates. 
Here's hoping they don't get nerfed anytime soon because the ability spam builds you can make on the ARC subclass are super fun. And that brings us to the final verb which is Jolt. It states the target is energized with destructive ARC light. They take additional damage while jolted and chain lightning to nearby targets. Jolt damage causes overload champions to be stunned. The compendium states jolted enemies will release chain lightning for 10 seconds, dealing damage to all enemies within 8 meters. It has a 0.8 second cooldown between chain lightning activations, and the duration can be refreshed by reapplying jolt. Now I want to dispel some rumors. In the past, the damage of the source applying the jolt would give more jolt damage. So something like a special weapon with volt shot would apply more jolt damage to an enemy than a primary applying jolt with volt shot. This is no longer the case. I tested various grenades, weapons like the indebted kindness sidearm, two-tailed fox exotic rocket launcher, and a volt shot dark decider auto rifle, and even the super like chaos reach and arc staff. And the jolt applied by all of them dealt 6266 damage. This was not always the case and Bungie nerfed this but I kind of like the nerf because it would give certain weapons legs up on others. Like Volt Shot on Dark Decider was nowhere near as good as Volt Shot on something like the new Hullabaloo Grenade Launcher. But now they are all equal, so I just wanted to point that out. But regardless of the damage Jolt deals, it's an ad clear menace. Being able to damage every target within 8 meters of a Jolted target every 0.8 seconds is extremely powerful and it makes Jolt one of the best verbs in the game and probably the best verb for ad clear. Like seriously, jolting things just makes ad clearing a breeze. And that is kind of the identity of Ark as a whole. It doesn't give high damage or health back like Solar with Radiant and Restoration, but with Jolt for ad clear and Ionic Traces giving you tons of ability spam, the identity of Ark is basically just spamming abilities to take out as many adds as possible and just keep looping set abilities and jolting everything and constantly being amplified. It's honestly a lot of fun. Anyways, that is going to do it for the Ark Verbs breakdown. I hope it was helpful and if it was, please leave a like on the video. The first set of subclass school videos covering solar didn't really perform well, so if you like this style of video, go give those a watch. But regardless, if you're still watching this video, then I very much appreciate it. Thanks for watching and take care.